you, you give your best at whatever you're doing. When you get home, you don't have no use for yourself. You have to just put up your leg and just rub it down because that's how tired you are after a long day working as a nurse, working in the emergency room, dealing with all of that high levels of stress. And so that was just me for years, you know, but I still go out and do my best, give my best um, in everything that I do. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Think Nursing channel where we discuss everything related to nursing, travel and lifestyle. I'm looking at where, you know, I was uh, couple months ago going through all the stress of thinking about all the stress of emergency nursing I love emergency room nursing you know that's my passion that's my love that's my area you know and um, I've been doing emergency nursing for a while when I got my degree or my master's certification in um, adult gerontology primary care I thought I was gonna be bored doing uh, this kind of work and um, I've come to realize that it's because you, when you love something when you really love and you enjoy something that you do regardless of the work environment sometimes you know it doesn't even bother you any at all because I was just thinking that after I'm finished working um, as an emergency room nurse going around and just being busy always having you know this this drive you know your adrenaline just through the roof because you're just excited about what's coming next you know in terms of patience and um, so that was just something that I was always enjoying I was just always enjoying it and then uh, I started this work and uh, at the time when I got my certificate I was licensed I wasn't working as a nurse practitioner because I was scared I wasn't so sure if I was gonna do well in this area I wasn't so sure if you know I'm gonna enjoy what I'm doing because it just seemed like it's boring you know and then uh, things happen like I left my job and uh, sometimes you know we always say that the lord work in mysterious ways and he knows what he's doing he knows what he's doing you know sometimes you're giving your best and sometimes people don't recognize it or you just feel as though you're at a point where you're burnt out you are doing everything that you can you know because of the job because you love what you do and at the end of the day you're feeling tired some days you feel frustrated and you're tired because you're just feeling overwhelmed physically you're tired you're drained and uh, you know you're just still pushing every single day you go out there and you give it your best you know you, you, you give your best at whatever you're doing when you get home you don't have no use for yourself you have to just put up your leg and just rub it down because that's how tired you are after a long day working as a nurse working in the emergency room dealing with all of that high levels of stress and so that was just me for years you know but i still go out and do my best give my best um in everything that i do because it is something that i love i have a passion for it and then uh, you know things went sideways at work and uh, it was just there and i was still not feeling it i was just not at a point where I think I could go into the field and practice as a, as a nurse practitioner because I never feel like I had the experience I never feel like you know I was gonna be able to do the orders as it's supposed to be put out you know I don't think I was gonna be able to get certain things done when to refer a patient you know what medications to order the antibiotics that is gonna be needed and so I was just kind of in my little own little shell don't even want to say the word nurse practitioner because I was just scared you know I was just scared to go into the working world but sometimes a lot of put us in a position where we am real shuffle you him shuffle you and make a drastic change he makes a change to everything that is happening in a, in your life 
you understand and uh, so it makes you uncomfortable in your situation so even though the emergency room was just a tiring environment for years you know you're working real hard you're giving your best you hear patients and pussy oh you know deep down you just feel tired deep down you just want a change but you just don't know what the change is gonna be when the change is gonna come but you know that you definitely don't want to be doing this for the next couple of years and so when I got my little shake up you know when I said that this was it and I was like okay then I've had enough I was like ready to take that leap of faith and then things just started happening I got this job offer and everything was just good you know I got an offer to say okay then run a practice and me not have no experience I never have any experience you know my input was just something that people were craving you understand know, people just want it to be a case where okay then what are your thoughts on this you understand know, okay I'm gonna let you do this I'm gonna let you do that and that was just the situation and so um, I am here seeing patients enjoying every bit of not sharing it for you know just because I want to share it seek I want to share it so we can actually learn and understand something from it you know if there was something that I did in anything I'm gonna try and say okay then this is what I did hopefully you can find you know something from my experience and change how you would go about doing it all right so I want it to be a case where it's a learning experience but what I'm saying is I've started this just this job I've started this job and uh, I went in not understanding how to work as a nurse practitioner I was just scared I was just feeling you know nervous on my first time when I went to see um, an employer regarding a job you understand and uh, I am loving I'm enjoying what I'm doing I'm enjoying what I'm doing I'm enjoying the conversations with the patients I'm enjoying advocating for my patients trying to say okay then this is what we're going to do and this is what we're going to work on the next time I'm enjoying every aspect of it you know even though a lot of times the home environment it no it no look pleasing it no pleasant but at the end of the day I can see where the patients are trying and that is what makes me feel better you understand I can see where somebody has said okay then nurse I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that and that is what brings me joy when you go back the next time and you can see something that you had suggested what you educated them on and when you're trying to check back and find out did they really do something or did they learn from that experience that moment and you realize that yes somebody actually had gotten some information somebody really take the time out to make the change that is what brings me joy at the end of the day all right so um i know a lot of us are out there and uh, we are thinking that we don't know whether or not we're going to do well I was talking with my friend the other day big up Kyra and I know definitely you are going to do well on your exam I know right now it might seem like you know the timing might not be perfect and you might not feel as though you're ready and it's the same thing for Michelle and same thing for Adalicia or you might not start the program or if you already start the program I just want to tell you none of that you know it's nice it's a nice feeling you will enjoy it and I know all of you guys are good nurses so I'm not expecting anything less I'm not expecting your experience to be you know not good which direction my figure I'm not experience I'm not expecting your experience to be not good but I know I just want to say the, to the persons out there you know just go out there and give it your best shot you know take that leap of faith sometimes your work environment your current situation is just not the ideal or the most ideal but 
you have to know when the time is right sometimes the lord puts us in a position and i try to tell us that no is the time but sometimes we, we, we tend to not listen to him and so i want you to use the opportunity and take that leap of faith and go out there and be the best version be the best nurse practitioner even if you're not able to speak the nurse practitioner way go out there and be the best version of what you can offer you're already a nurse so guess what you know if you take care of a patient and you go through NP school you already go through and do your license and you're certified you are qualified you're more than qualified to take care of your patient so I just want you to go out there and do the best that you can do in the given situation. Be the best version of yourself. And that is the most important thing you can do for yourself as well as for the patient. It is through your work the patients are going to get better at what they're doing. And so their health outcome is going to be even better all right until then i just want to say thank you for tuning in and i do hope that you will have a wonderful day until then bye